Hey, hello, welcome back, my beautiful people. So today we will be discussing this topic of compliments from strangers. You can choose between this leave, run and pull. So pick one of these and we will check the compliments from strangers. So for those of you who chose this leave card. So, part one, you do have an uh, upheaval card reversed. So, what I'm sensing from this one, you are just somebody who is very pacifying energetically. There's something about you where the Eight of Cups reversed. People kind of remain, uh, they wish to stay with you. Let's say you are. Uh, saluting to somebody or uh, just exchanging a few words with them while passing by or something like that they kind of wish you stayed uh, or like your meeting brief meeting with them was prolonged even if it was like briefer meeting or briefer uh, gathering or get together so it's just because you have a certain great calming influence on them in a way so i'm also getting for a lot of you you kind of look there's something in your physique in your demeanor where uh you almost look like you will explode with creativity any moment or uh they find you beautiful and they almost feel like it's uh only matter of moment matter of moment when uh, you will somehow explode in your beauty by saying something even more charming, even more charismatic. So that's the vibe that I'm getting in this one. You do have this page of pentacles, so... Uh, compliments uh, of strangers pertain to your footwear for a lot of you, so for whatever reason. Uh, and eyeshadow is what I'm sensing, your eyebrows as well. So those may be kind of your distinct features and also something correlated to your chest. Mm. So strangers may feel like you have beautiful hands or that the way you use them, there's something very aesthetically pleasing in that. You have this letting go reversed card. So in a way, strangers never feel there's certain great element of being adept uh, in socializing with others. So it's kind of like strangers never feel like you're just trying to get rid of them or you're just try trying to shorten the small talk. There's something about you where uh, you spark them to want to know more, to uh, want to ask more questions, to ponder more. Uh, about you, there's something excitable, something, uh, how do you say, youthfully inviting about your energy in this one. A lot of you may uh, kind of like to wear, getting like uh, warm colors, warmer uh, tones, warm and blue is what I'm sensing, a lot of blue and green for some of you as well. So... I'm getting this pile, you are especially appealing to water sign people, so Cancer, Pisces and Scorpios and to Aries uh, personalities or those who have those strong placements for whatever reason because you ignite that inner uh, both sense of safety within uh, these placements but also this 
uh, energetic, subtle uh, invitation uh, of some sort. So, because for water signs, you are very calming, and for Aries type of personalities, there's something about you where you, how do I say, kind of match their energy. You can even be slightly distracted, slightly uh, disorganized. Uh, in a sense of how you represent yourself to the world and this is why people love you even more uh, I don't know you can have that uh, crazy artist hair or uh, really the type of outfit which looks like you uh, just crave to have clothes on yourself that day so the compliments would pertain to you being positively unbothered by other people's impressions in a way uh, and people instantly, they immediately feel like you are very mature and uh, like you're somebody well raised, somebody who stems from a uh, loving family with union kind of cups, especially for a lot of you. Uh, people feel, uh, regardless of whether it's like that or not, that you stem from a family where you had like safe father figures with the king of cups uh once with healthy dose of positive and uplifting masculine energy that powerful motivating uh, motivating force uh to kind of be assertive and to uh express yourself to the world so uh, as i said a lot of them feel like you had pretty good influence from your father's side in a way uh, we do have the nine of wands reversed so people feel like you are surprisingly open when they first meet you. There's something about you where they also feel like they are safe to open up emotionally, uh, like they could cry instantly in front of you and they would be safe or you would be distracted or unbothered or something by their crying or their by their, I don't know, PMS day or... Um, I don't know, maybe they had the worst day at their job or something and they feel like you wouldn't uh, you wouldn't kind of backpedal if they complained or something along along those lines in a way. People feel like you're in touch with your masculine, you're in touch with your feminine. Uh, especially for my guys listening, these uh, people feel wonderful. Uh, excitement about you being also in touch with your feminine side and being unintimidating while also uh, kind of having a lot of sense of personal power to how you radiate so yeah and people also kind of feel with the page of wands reversed and in, in a strange way in strange reasons this may be uh, kind of enticing to them. They almost feel like you aren't there to flirt with them or you didn't come to entice them in any uh, way, shape or form. Uh, so it's almost like you can turn on that uh, apathetic vibe of yours when it comes to romantic encounters or potential suitors. So um, yeah, they almost get captivated by the fact that you are not trying to flirt them up or uh, that you are trying to, first and foremost, maybe on your first dates or something like that, approach them from a humane and intellectual side. So, yeah, there's a lot of complexity to your relationships, to how you interact with others. People feel like you're incredibly immensely smart. Uh, and they also feel like it's the type of smart that you worked on, but not in a negative way, but uh, they feel like you cultivated your knowledge, your uh, ability to be intellectually astute, is what I would say. <clears throat> we do have the high priest here, it was reversed. Uh, Many people, when they just meet you, they kind of have the instant impression that you are not of their religion, whichever religion you are. So, let's say you're, for example, uh, I don't know, a Muslim, 
people and you're meeting somebody who is like a Buddhist or something, this person will immediately feel, uh, yeah, you are definitely a foreign religion, of a foreign culture. Uh, we are not sharing the same religion. Uh, but with the Queen of Cups here, they just feel like there's something all-encompassing about you, where they almost feel like kind of invited by this fact as well. Uh, and kind of willing to share themselves with share themselves with you, even if they would be slightly how do I say discriminating toward the other members of your own religion or something. So there's something about you that softens people, and uh, it kind of makes them feel like they can share themselves on a deeper, on a more humane, on a more universal uh, level. So we do have an element of that with the Knight of Swords reversed. And what else we have? Moon reversed. For a lot of you, uh, people feel like you're in incredibly uh, blunt when they first meet you and that this is incredibly refreshing. They kind of feel like you would be the type who will come and say, yeah, I had a shitty day, and so I'm just all up for going home, showering, having some nice drink, uh, and just coming to my senses. Uh, so I'm sensing for a lot of you, um, if you are feeling all over the place, you'll say that you are feeling all over the place, regardless who you are talking to. Uh, it can be president of a country, or that... Uh, charming individual that you uh, strive to meet for quite some time now. So we do have an aspect correlated to that. Let's see. I do feel like for a lot of you there's something dark. Uh, there's some, some kind of dark aesthetic to you. You may have darker hair or darker gaze or uh, darker colors for some there's something, even if you are a very light person, uh, which gives an aura of darkness to you and people kind of get turned on by this. Even platonically, they kind of notice a certain element of, uh, how do you say, you standing out in a profound way or uh, differentiating yourself compared to most people or compared to how most people look in your environment so um, there's a strong indication of that you seem as very composed type of a person and somebody for some of you people would say that you have something cautious about your gaze uh, it's almost like you sometimes reluctantly uh, look at people and this is what gets them energized over you and uh, makes them want to uh, make you trust them, um, want to make you confide to them and kind of relax in their presence. So people often compliment your hair, especially if it's wavy or uh, like shorter length, uh, but with slightly... Uh, heavier volume to it so that's something that I'm getting and even it's like uh, not short not long that uh, chin level uh, of hair for those of you who have that so yeah but I feel like I'm gonna conclude it here for the pile I hope you guys enjoyed this small report if you did uh, well you may feel inclined, inclined to check one of the others too if not see you in the next reading bye bye Let's go on. Those who chose this run card.
compliments from strangers. So, pile two. I feel like compliments from stranger would pertain to you being kind of very receptive, but not being meek in a way that will uh, make sense with you guys. So, I feel like there's something very approachable, very open uh, to the way you converse, but at the same time, slightly distant, slightly uh, formal. You guys have a lot of aqua people uh, vibes to you, so or like aqua people charm. I would say uh, they're kind of friendly uh, and acquainting with everybody. However, there's still always that air, that uh, layer of ambivalence to them, and so. This is something that charms people in a way because they feel like things are not given with you, things cannot be taken for granted, is what I would say. A uh, compliment from strangers would be also that they that you don't change a lot for a lot of you, with that reversed. You also feel like somebody who has beautiful psychology to you, I would say. Uh, or like somebody who didn't have a lot of baggage uh, to your life. Uh, for a lot of you, like you were a pampered child or somebody who, uh, who was given certain certain sense of ease in correlation to their circumstances, to the events that happened in your life. And we do have joy. And I mean, look how positive this card looks. I'm getting for those of you who like wearing patterned uh, clothes or tribal ones, people compliment you on that. Uh, and also like accessories of that sort. So, and like hand accessories and even upper hand accessories. So that's something that I'm sensing for a lot of you. They compliment your eyes often, especially if you have like brighter eyes, like green, blue, light blue. So, uh, we do have heavy elements of that. And then, we do have moon reversed, which is illusion reversed. People just feel like they can deceive you. They just, also sun is here, uh, reversed. I'm almost sensing some of people want to appear kind of masked in front of you or they want to appear more confident they are than they are. Uh, however, somehow, some way you always uh, they feel like uh, that you can instantly figure out their biggest insecurity just by one look, just by one gaze. So that's something that's getting from this one. You do have seven of sports. Uh, you give off an impression of people who doesn't speak a lot always. However, they feel like if you started talking, you could be the type that could ruin the lives of half of the town or something like that because you hold their secrets by being their, I don't know, therapist, lawyer, uh, some sort of counselor or just people to whom many people kind of confide. So, I would say that people are instantly cognizant, they are aware of this trait of yours. Um, so, there is a heavy emphasis on that. Uh, we do have, let me just see... Yeah, and there's almost something uh, like where you can read them completely, however, they can't uh, 
they can't really figure out many things about you and so uh, people kind of feel naked slightly vulnerable around you there's an element to that people also have this workaholic uh, vibe that they are getting from you somehow some way they could often be under the impression that you are so immersed in your work and uh, or in your daily discipline that you are not even noticing them uh, or that you are never noticing when they are kind of turning on their charms or uh, trying to give you a little something something to the note some kind of flirt or uh, so there's that you do have judgment and people inner calling people feel like you're somebody who has powerful uh, sense of inner calling to you where you uh, have probably always known what you will become uh, when you are an adult or uh, you may have predicted your own career as a child or something along those lines uh, where there was the, this deep sense of uh, just knowing some things and not, not only correlated to your future life mission, soul's mission, uh, but also other things too. People with six of swords, healing, compliments from strangers. They compliment you if you like uh, wearing like flowery skirts and dresses. That's something that I'm also sensing. And like pieces of clothing where your shoulders are revealed. Uh, you may have beautifully built shoulders for my feminine masculines uh, simultaneously. Yeah, and I'm definitely uh, getting that about chest and your arms area along with uh, shoulders and under the neck collarbone so that could be your uh, power point so hey but if you like this small report give it a small like so that it reaches more people but you look at somebody as, in, as incredibly creative spiritual and incredibly tuned with nature uh, people may feel like you have a very specific and uh, Close, I would almost say intimate relationship with seasons, uh, with natural cycles. Uh, maybe you do cer certain practices uh, in all the right season, like spiritual practices or uh, practical practices. Uh, I don't know, maybe you would adjust your meal plans in accordance to seasons so that you always uh, kind of reap the best from the nature. There's just something very uh, utilitarian to how you use natural cycles and people kind of observe this about you. So there's an element of that. People feel like there's something very bold about the way you dress. Maybe you are quite able to pull off the pieces that would feel very risky to the others and there is immense confidence this king of wands and nine of swords reversed and I don't care you can feel like you are the most uh, anxious individual out there however people when they meet you when they get introduced uh, to you they simply feel like, I, I'm not gonna lie, some, some of them may even feel like you're somewhat cocky or like they wouldn't stand the chance, uh, they wouldn't stand the chance, a proper chance with you, so maybe just try to work on that. Uh, but there's something smug about you, there's something uh, like you know when you enter the place you walk in like you know uh, that you own it or like you are the owner of the bar of the restaurant whatever it is so I'm getting that a lot of fit uh, men compliment your figure in a very nice way so uh, in a way even when you just meet them so and they are still strangers they immediately notice your figure uh, I'm, I'm sensing like literally athletic men so uh, either men who are spending a lot of time in the gym or uh, are doing some sport 
almost on the professional level. So uh, they would immediately compliment your uh, figure, your uh, proportions. Uh, so that's something that I'm sensing, especially your legs. Uh, for a lot of you, your legs are really standing out. Uh, and I'm getting all your haircuts, even uh, the eccentric ones that you wondered, like whether people, people like them or uh, yes, they did. Or if you are currently having slightly more unorthodox haircut, people love it. So let's see what else we you, you have world reversed. You are giving an impression of a person who is very comfortable, who is just very serene and content and uh, grounded in his circumstances, in his routines, in uh, how he spends his days. Uh, so People feel like while you exude great sense of leadership and uh, even discipline, there's still something erratic about you that you can almost utilize uh, at the opportunities that kind of demand uh, that type of approach. So uh, they're, they're like, it's almost like your acquaintances would be like, oh my God, I rather, uh, I wonder like what, what sort of mood are they uh, today? In? Uh, is it a Zen vacation mood or is it, I don't know, uh, I already worked on my craft for, two, for three hours and then I'm going to the gym and then I'm going, going to my proper job. So people have their own assumptions and I'm getting that people make a lot of assumptions. They, uh, how do you say, they make assumptions about your relationship status. They often feel like you radiate as somebody who is taken or already married. So, and for some of you, like you are freshly divorced and uh, kind of uh, getting that fresh air, that uh, newly found sense of freedom uh, after a difficult or turmoil relationship. So there is that. <clears throat> I'm getting for a lot of you people could be complimenting you that you have very feminine legs or uh, very feminine, uh, I say, lower part of the body. So there's something uh, that they really do acknowledge uh, when it comes to that. I'm even getting like uh, broad hips, beautiful, uh, very feminine hips for my females, for my women. Or for guys, if you find uh, that to be something aesthetically pleasing. So, yeah, I just feel like uh, for guys, I don't know, people automatically assume that you could be having, uh, I don't know, big package or something like that. There's just something about you screaming big D energy uh, for all genders, basically. Uh, so this is more of a metaphorical thing, but uh, there is an element to that. So people sometimes feel you are very arrogant and bold and that it serves you very well in your life, that it has made you uh, achieve a lot or achieve things uh, in smarter ways compared to the others in a way. Yeah, but I feel like I'm going to conclude it here for the pile. I hope you guys enjoyed this small report. If you did, maybe check one of the others too. And if not, see you in the next reading. Bye-bye.
So I'm sensing if you are masculine, the compliments people would give you is that uh, you are somebody who looks like you have a physique or demeanor uh, of a Greek god, basically. Or if you identify more with the masculine energy, that can also apply. Uh, if you are my feminines, then you look like a walking embodiment of goddess Lakshmi here. Uh, we have Lakshmi, the world card. So, yeah, I would say uh, that there is a lot of celestial energy to you guys. It's almost like people people feel like you're a god from some other planet that came uh, to enlighten the masses here. And, uh, to create some sense of progress and then to return to your home uh, abode or something like that. But they also feel like there's something incredibly earthy about you. If you are men uh, watching these people compliment your hands, your beard. Uh, if you are a woman also, if you are training your hands especially, uh, I mean your arms. So people compliment on how well trained you look. They compliment your definition is what I'm hearing. Somebody's definition may have improved. Maybe you did uh, more cardio or whatever. So your body is looking simultaneously more uh, lean, but also strong somehow, some way. So <clears throat> it's almost like lean in all the right places and strong in all the right places. See how this woman also, she has a beautiful waist going on with her. Uh, people compliment that you look uh, beautiful in purple, that there's something royal uh, to the way you uh, carry yourself, I would say. Uh, I don't know people almost as they as soon as they see you they feel like you should have a lion or a tiger as a pet or a snake or some other uh I don't know very dignified animal uh in a way. So we do have six of pentacles reversed. Uh there is an element of restraint to you guys and uh Especially with King of Pentacles. Maybe some of you are uh, often hit on uh, by older people or uh, like older suitors or something. Uh, and that's when especially your elements of restraint uh, become active in a way. Some of you want to only date people of your own age or younger. Which is okay, which is perfectly fine. Uh, but people kind of notice that there is a sense of boundary uh, correlated to that. And also if you are somebody who is like more on the well-off side, there is a sense of boundary where uh, you are uh, creating your life in a way where people who are gold diggers won't find you attractive or something like that. There's still something minimalistic is what I would say. You do have the page of pentacles reversed. People find your beauty exotic. They find your beauty radiant, youthful, vital. There's something vital about your beauty is what I would say. Uh, especially for black people watching this and African Americans. I would say that uh, people kind of feel like your uh, skin color perfectly complements you in a way uh, or that it somehow reflects uh, that magnanimous spirit that you carry in a way uh, there's just something that commands respect uh, is what I would say so Somehow, some way, your skin color makes uh, people respect you more for some of you. That's something that I'm also getting. For some of you, I'm also getting you're slightly more on the androgynous side, or uh, you may have like androgynous days or outfits or something uh, like that. And people compliment this. A lot of people love this. You do have this snake on the wand uh, here, power see the truth 
power uh, I didn't even see this written here but we also have the uh, but we did mention something about uh, you exuding this power we have the uh, the snake on the wand which resembles like this, that Asclepius wand of healing uh, that you find on the apothecaries and such so people feel like you're somebody who has worked a lot on your health we also have sun here so some of you may be doctors who may be in the healing professions who uh, can stem from family of doctors or healers so something factored in heavily with you uh, having a strong positive inclination toward the healing guards uh, for you guys. You do have movement uh, and achievement. People feel like your uh, achievements stem, stem kind of from your energy levels in your body, which are naturally high, which are naturally uh, not really having much oscillations, is what I would say. So uh, once you are done with one task, you're running off to the next one, or you're running off to the gym, or to meet your relatives, or um, there is that. People also feel like with the Eight of Wands, somehow, some way, you have this perfect balance between being poised and energetic. Uh, it's almost like you are commanding your body and its processes completely and fully. Uh, you are more capable than average person to have your body under control. Maybe you would be the type to, I don't know, uh, affirm to your body that you are warm even though you are cold or something like that. Uh, I'm getting to this some sort of inherited knowledge. Uh, not more so an aptitude that you carried uh, from your uh, previous lifetimes. So... We do have strong indications for that. Uh, let me just see what else do people compliment. If you do have a pets, because we do have many animals in these cards, and you walk them often, or uh, there's something correlated to you and animals, people compliment you on how you nurture them, on how uh, you take care of them. Uh, of how much of a positive karma you are creating for yourself and within the uh, within your environment for uh, nurturing the innocent beings in a way. So this is what people often compliment. They often compliment your laugh, your smiles, your jovial energy, your ability to make anybody, even the most in, uh, depressed person, have fun. Uh, or indulge the moment somehow some way something about you makes people indulge the moment uh, even overthinkers even uh, people who are like I don't know uh, born cynics or something like that so hey but if you like this small report give it a small like so that it reaches more people people compliment your masculine energy here uh, regardless of how you uh, how you mm, feel in a way um, in a way because you do have the Athena who is like a uh, goddess of war in a way also among other things and we have power indicated yeah so basically people feel for a lot of you like you have a physique of a general or uh of somebody capable of leading an army or something like that. I'm getting that people compliment if there's something I don't know goofy or fluffy about your about the type of pants you uh, wear. Uh, I'm getting like uh, relaxed fit more with you guys, or that relaxed fit uh, suits you beautifully, or uh, you often invite the most attention in when you are uh, not, not using so much of a form-fitting clothes, uh, if that will make sense for you. Uh, so, for whatever reason, it uh, emphasizing 
it emphasizes your handsomeness even more, your uh, beauty even more uh, for my feminines. So, yeah, I'm getting for a lot of few people compliment your biceps, triceps, mus muscles for whatever reason. So, you do have a strong indication to that. Okay, but if you dig this small report, give it a small like and let's conclude it here for the pile. Uh, you guys are very vibrant, energetic, powerful creatures. Uh, you almost feel like you are uh, from the Mars itself for some of you. Uh, so, yeah. I feel like we will conclude it here. I hope you guys enjoyed this small report. If you did, uh, I don't know, maybe check one of the other piles as well. And if not, see you in the next reading. Thank you for listening. Bye-bye.